Welcome back guys with the CMake episode number six. So in this video, you guys will know about how to create libraries. So uh, how to create libraries and how to link them with your executable. So they are, and in this video, I'm also gonna tell you that there are two types of libraries. One is static library, one is dynamic library. So what is the difference between static and dynamic? I will be just a little bit covering about, about these type, about both the types of libraries, but I will most uh, more important, or we can say in this video is how to link, how to create the library and how to link with your executable. So let's get started. So let's see how the library uh, is added in the CMake source file and how the lab, like how library is gonna generate. So like in the previous video, we created an executable using an exec ex executable, we can say statement or function. So for the library, there's a similar named thing like add library, okay? So we just add to the library, then we need to pass some arguments in it, like library name and library name and what is gonna include in this library. For example, uh, if we create some source file, header and source file, and we need a uh, header file contains some declaration of a function and the source file contains a definition of that function simple definition and we need we just include the header file into the main.cpp and we want to hide the information of the definition in the library so the main part of the library is to uh, hide the implementation from the users because we don't want to share the information of uh, the implementation we have done of our code we just only want to share the header files from which uh, we, we can say a user or a developer can use their header files just include in their project and know the and just know how to call the function and what will function return and what the function will going to do so library are of two types one is static library and one is dynamic library so so the, the so the behavior of this library is depends on the static and the uh, static and shared so static library is the library which is when you add the library on the for example header file so it will search the library and then it will take whole implementation from those libraries and just add it on the top of that code okay so for example if your library have some size have for example if we can say your library is of 1 mb or 2 mb size and when you generate an executable then your gen executable will become uh, uh we can say a big big in size because the whole code is going to add in that executable if you are using some dll file for example uh shared we can say a shared library so it just call that function from that library at runtime not gonna include the whole library in it so static libraries are fast if you include the whole thing in the code then it will be little it, it's faster than the dll or shared library so there are the uh it did it, it it totally depends on your use case for what you will prefer so right now i will be telling you about the static library how the static library gonna create from the cmake okay so let's see that we have an uh c plus plus header file let's name it uh test dot h and let's create a source file as well C++ and just start cpp okay so for example we have a declaration of a function mm, foo and we have a implementation of that function let's use 
Hello stream. And we can say let's include the header. Mm, okay. So here is the full implementation is here. Let's use simple std out. Hello from instead of hard coding the function name let's use this okay so it will we need to call this function okay so here is the declaration here is the implementation and we need to call this method in main.cpp okay so for example we not create the library right now okay sorry has to, has to. so we just we have just this main.cpp if we include test.cpp as well in that executable then it means then we don't need the library okay everything is in the executable then okay so it's it's simple like that uh you don't need any library you are just adding up things in the air executable and you there there is no error though there is no issue in that it will compile easily okay if we don't adding like we just add an add, add executable uh main like in add executable statement we just use main.cpp and we are not using other files but we are calling a test.h method in main.cpp then what will happen so let's try to build it first okay so mm -hmm. wait a minute what happened what happened uh we, did we got it no okay so that's the issue we need to add uh, test dot edge here and then we will be calling uh, okay. now when you compile come try to compile it then you will be getting a linking error because test dot add has the declaration of foo dot foo foo method but it doesn't have any definition of that definition is contained in test dot cpp and it's not included in the add executive add executable as well so we so we the main concept is all about library how the library is created and how library is used so the linking error is when uh, occurs when there is no definition uh that when the compiler don't found any definition of that function so we just create a library how the library is going to create it's just mm -hmm. you will be adding a library then you will be just name it uh test library and you oh sorry and you will be mentioning static if you don't don't uh, type static here then it's by default it will generate a static library and if you need to uh, generate a, a dll or we can say a shared library then you will be writing a shared here but there's an there's a completely different way to generate shared library and to consume it so I will be telling you about in the next episode or some other episode not so test static and we will be using test.cpp here okay so test.cpp is the part of test library okay so we just zero read the changes and now you can see there are two projects one is the amazing people it means it's generating an executable file and one is test which will be generating a library folder for library so we can see here that in here see make build debug when you run this it will generate a library you can see test.lib okay so we have this test.lib okay i think like the main thing is to generate the library okay but if we still run this amazing people it will give you an error the linking error you have added a library 
but you didn't link this library with an executable. You need to link this library with an executable that executable know the definition of that library as well. So when you use target link library, you will use the name of this executable here, simple, and then you will be just using the name of this library, text dot lib. Okay, and you reload the changes. Then you will build it up. Then you will find no issues. It's compiled perfectly, and you can see two hello worlds, one from the main dot cpp and one from the hello from foo. So that's all about the library. I hope you guys learn more about how the libraries work in CMake and how we create libraries static and dynamic in CMake CMake source file and how we link those files with our executable. So I hope if you have any questions, you can directly ask in the comments in the comment section. So thank you guys. Share my video, subscribe my channel, share with your friends so they can also be part of our technical journey. Thank you guys.